disobedient when you feel you're the same. Right. Right. You become challenging when you think you're the same. Right. Right. Paul said, with all I know, I am the man. Right. But the only way I'm going to become the anointed one is to leave what I think I have to get what I'm supposed to have. Yes, he sir. said, I counted it lost. Why? For Christ. For Christ. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Oh, yeah. right. Something about this Christ has just made my whole experience seem less than. Right. Uh -huh. God, I love you. Holy God. Yes, sir. If you hang around a whole lot of people that pump you up, they're going to blow you up into something that you're not. Yes, 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 the problem with stuff that blow up quick, it pops fast. Yes, Y'all ain't hearing me right now. Yes, it might blow up, but if it blow up too quick, pop goes the weasel. Y'all ain't saying that. No. You better watch folks who blow you up because they got a pin in one hand and blow it with the other. Yes, you ain't hearing me in here. Somebody blows you up, they set you up. God, that's why we don't like to deal with God, because God will never blow you up. God, ain't hearing me. God will never make you think more than you really are. God will tell you on your best day, but all your righteousness is as filthy rags. God will tell you, but all you know, you can't touch what I'm about to know. That's why the minute you think you mastered Psalm 23, he'll unveil another level of it, and you'll go, wait a minute, the Lord is who? My shepherd. Wait a minute, I didn't even know what a sheep gate was. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I just thought the shepherd had the crozier, if you know what that is. Amen. But you didn't know nothing about the sheep gate. You didn't know nothing about the wolf infrastructure of the sheep gate. You didn't understand the threshold. But as you grew in God, the threshold thing came to you. And now the Lord is my shepherd. Takes a whole different avenue. What it means is he stands in the gate and monitors what comes in and out of my life. Which means the folk that hate me, if the Lord is my shepherd, he got that gate, baby. You can't just get to me. Because the sheep gate is being guarded by the good shepherd. That's why he said here, look, I wish I had somebody. He'll make me lie down. I can't preach like that right now. He'll make me lie down. He'll make me lie down. Of what God can tell me uh -huh. overrides what I think I know. Yes, sir. Are y'all hearing me? Look at somebody say it don't mean nothing. It don't mean nothing. It don't mean nothing. What I learned don't mean nothing. I gotta get something more in my nature. Forward thinking mandates a dismissal of the value of all things that I have gained, that I can exchange the value of Christ. If I value what I've got more than what he's going to give me, yes. then I cannot get what God has ordained yes. for my life. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm in a value mode. Come on here. Yes, if it's not valuable to you, you're never going to get what you have to get that. That's right. When something's more valuable to you, you'll get what you have. Oh, you can take this. I found something better. Uh -huh. Oh, God, help me. Woo. That's why people can trap us. Because we still think we're in necessity of certain things. Yeah. I love the Holy Ghost for this. Oh, I was on God. the plane coming home, and the Lord said, it's expendable. I said, Lord, what you talking about? He said, it's expendable. I said, Lord, what are you talking about? He said, everybody that operates with me is expendable. Uh -huh. I can shift in a minute. Ain't nobody, nobody but me. Y'all ain't hearing me. Anymore. Everybody that thinks they got power and position, God said, I'll move you in a second. That God, I love you. You better serve like you can be replaced. I only need 37 people to holler right there. If you don't play the organ like he got another organist, you will stop playing hard. But the minute you think your job is in jeopardy, you'll start going in. When you realize I am expendable, you ain't the only one that understand accounting. You're not the only one that give offering. You're not the only one that know how to do it mind dance. You're not the only one that know how to preach. You're not the only one that know how to lay hands on the sick. You're not the only one with a prophetic word. When you understand that what he has is more than what you have, you will start acting like I am expendable. He can shift tonight. I wish I had you're a wonderful worship team, but he'll raise up some singers, blow you up out of the water. Y'all ain't saying nothing. With your wonderful riffing self, he'll bring somebody in with one riff, slay the house. Because what you need is oil, not power. Slap somebody a high five and say, I want the oil. Are you hearing me? I need the oil of God. Paul said. I can't stand it. Paul said, it drives me crazy. I count all things. Verse 8, yeah, doubtless. I count all things. Somebody holler all things. All things. Somebody holler all things. all things. I count all things but loss for the excellency. Yes, 
Look at the reference here. God. For the excellency of the knowledge of, I love the Holy Ghost, of Christ Jesus, my Lord, Hallelujah. for whom I have suffered. God, I love you. Woo. Hallelujah. For whom I've gone through what I've gone through. Hallelujah. I've gone through what I've gone through because of my relationship with God. What if your suffering was not to kill you? What if your suffering was to qualify you? What if I went through what I went through just so he could prove I'm with her? I'm with him. What if he didn't, what if he didn't bring you out so he could prove to people I'm blessing while they're in? What if God didn't deliver you yet? So Because he said I can help you before I deliver you. I'll bring you through. Y'all ain't saying up in here. What if God said, yep, yeah, I took him in the fiery furnace. Come on, me, shit, Sharon, whoever's in the house. What if God said, I could have been there. I could have been gave you a job. But I wanted to prove I could keep you before I gave you a job. What if God said, I could have been gave you a car. But I wanted you to know I'll shift you where I meet you before I give you wheels. What if God said, I could been give you a husband. But I wanted to be your lover before he was. What if God is saying, you ain't suffering for yourself. You're suffering because I'm making you. Oh, but for 13 people that will jump up and holler. I heard him say, after you suffer a while. God. Yeah, I'll cause you. I'll, hallelujah. I'll strengthen you and I'll settle you. I'll establish you and make you perfect. How much your neighbor say it's been a while? It's been a while. We've yes, seen none that many yet. So, the Bible says, he begins to bring us to a point where he says, Not only have I lost it, but Sister Curran, he said, I count it dumb. God, I wish I had somebody. I count it dumb, but dumb. Until what you have in you has been qualified as waste, you will never have room for what's next. Come here, come here. Until what's in you gets classified as waste, you will never get what's down. You'll come here, come here. I know I ate yesterday, but my body processes what I ate and classifies it as waste. And when it classifies it as waste, then I'm hungry for something more. The reason why people can sit and look lethargic and not give God no praise because they refuse to digest what he's already did. But when your system starts digesting what he did, you don't need nobody to help you. I'm hungry. The problem with the church is not that they don't love God. The Thank you.